Welcome back. Today we're going to be fixing the keyboard issue on our navigation search bar. Uh, the first thing I need to talk about is the search bar where we said let search bar equal UI search bar. We're actually going to want that to be able to be seen by all of our functions because we want to use that inside of the search bar delegate methods, but that's no issue. Also, I created a small table data. We're just going to quickly insert that into the table so you can actually see a little bit better what's going on. You can just copy this and pause the video, but we're going to move on. The first thing we're going to do is change the number of sections to one. We simply just want number of second sections to be one. You can edit that later. We want the table data dot count. That is how many items we have. So that's how many rows we are going to need. Also, we're going to need to create a cell. And so we're going to say let cell equal. Uh, we need to actually go create this reuse identifier. So we're going to head to the main storyboard. What you're going to want to do is click on the first prototype cell, which is actually the only. And we're just going to call this a basic cell. And we're going to set it to basic. So we're going to go back to our search table view controller. And we're going to change reuse identifier to basic cell. And then it says configure, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take this cell we created right here, and we're going to say cell dot title, where it is, text label dot text equals, and we want to take our table data up there at the top. And what we want is we want the data at that row. So we're going to say index path dot row. And just to explain real quick where that came from, this is the index path here, and that's what we're going to want. Let's see what's going on here real quick. Uh, it's a, So text label is an optional, but we know it's going to be there because we selected a basic cell. We are guaranteeingly, or we are guaranteeing that there's going to be a text label, and if not, it will crash our app, which is fine because we have this right. So we're going to go ahead now and just run the program real quick so that you can see that the data is in there. As soon as it loads up, we should have a whole bunch of random data. And we do. So you can see we can search it. And now, again, if we search, it will enter the stuff, but it's not going to search for anything and the keyboard will not go away. We, in this episode, are going to fix the keyboard not going away. So we are going to pull in a, a method called scroll view. And we're going to say will begin dragging. We're just going to pick the very first one. And so what this says is when the, if the scroll view, which is what the table does sliding up and down, if it is dragged, we basically no longer want the keyboard and naturally if you're on an iPhone you will notice this or really for that matter any smartphone. So the way to do this is just to take our search bar so we'll say search bar dot end editing and you see it says force bool we're going to say true so we're going to force it to end editing and naturally if you force it to end editing it says you're no longer in the text view so it resigns it as first responder so you end the keyboard being up as well and it naturally animates down. But that's not the only way. What if the user hits the search button? So we also want to say table view or we want to say search bar and then it's going to be one of the very top ones search bar search button clicked. So if the search bar search button clicked we want it to say search bar dot end editing is true. And if I could spell and now if we go back in, we will actually know what's going on. As soon as it loads up, you see, so we're going to just scroll. Everything still looks fine. We will search. Uh, obviously, we're not actually searching. But what if we scroll down on it? Naturally, the keyboard goes away, which is exactly what you want. And then also, what if we hit search? Also goes away. Uh, the button up here shouldn't really hide the keyboard because it's more so if I typed a huge thing and wanted to get rid of it, you don't have to hold down to go back. You can just erase it all. You, it doesn't necessarily want to get rid of the keyboard. So 
that is pretty much it for the keyboards. There's other things you might want to do. You can have different versions of the keyboards. You can have a cancel button. If you have the cancel button, it's as easy as search bar, cancel button clicked, and then you do the same exact thing. So that ends it for this tutorial. Hopefully you come to the next one where we actually start to search the data and possibly even a few more things with the search bar. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions feel free to comment. I will try to get to as many people as possible.